Hey everyone, Ryan here. So yes, this is the big weekend we've been waiting for for quite a while, WrestleMania 37. And there's a big lot of matches. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing. Uh, we got like seven matches happening for each night, for night one and night two. So I kind of want to show you what I'm, I'm actually doing here. I'm predicting my, my matches for the first time watching WrestleMania. And I thought this would be a really fun idea to do. So I kind of made a list of myself before I get to page one and actually talk about that. I uh, for each page I uh, have uh, each page for night one, and I actually put uh, the matches down. I'll put something over on the side just as well too because I thought this is uh, I thought this was kind of clever. Me if I'm actually doing this. I don't know if other people, uh, you guys uh, who are watching right now, are actually are doing the same thing, predicting uh, matches coming into uh, WrestleMania 37. Here's the third page. Uh, so uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I just want to talk about this first page for a second because before WrestleMania 37. On a Friday Night Smackdown, we have a couple of big matches that usually happen at WrestleMania 37. So they probably uh, had a really big lineup for each night because each night has uh, seven matches, again, I say. And so what we actually are getting on night one, we are getting a SmackDown Tag Champion uh, match against. Uh, so we know that Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode are the are current uh, champions as it is, but we have the Street Profits. Ray, Dominic Mysterio, and Otis and Chad Gable in this match. Okay, so anyways, uh, what I'm going to do throughout this whole uh, segment is I want to predict uh, who's going to win these matches. So right away, going into a Friday Night Smackdown with this uh, Smackdown Tag Champions, I want to predict uh, it's going to be Ray and Dominic Mysterio because this would be really cool if uh, they could be the first father and son to actually win these uh, championship uh, belts. That would be awesome, I gotta say. So the other thing that's happening on Friday Night, night this as well, we are getting the Under the Giant Battle Rumble. If you guys can recall too, they uh, didn't really do this last year. Uh, well, the, the big reason for that not happening last year is because of this uh, whole pandemic, this COVID-19 actually happened. But they are actually doing it this year, believe it or not. So we have uh, 22 other wrestlers in this uh, ring to claim who will be uh, the winner of this Under the Giant uh, match. So who do you actually think will actually be? I'm actually a believer in that. I'm going leaning on Shinsuke Nakamura. I really wanted to choose him too because I, he's shown some really good uh, potential, I gotta say. And you gotta remember Cesaro uh, won it, uh, I believe, the last time they actually did this. Uh, Cesaro's been on top of his game. On one of the other nights up, um, on Over the Weekend, we got Cesaro and Seth Rollins. But before I actually go to that match, of course, I want to actually uh, go to a uh, night one because I'm not sure which order it is. And I, that's the reason for this list to help uh, show me uh, what who's wrestling on what night. Let's go to uh, WrestleMania 37 over the weekend, of course, uh, on our night one on April 10th, the big uh, main event on the mall. It happens every year. <laughs> so as I'm gonna put my list over on my side, if you wish to follow with me, that'd be awesome. If you wanna predict these matches with me, that'd be great this as well too. So let's move on uh, to night one. And just to let you know, WrestleMania 37 is being hosted by Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil. So that would be pretty cool to actually see the Hulk stuff back in the ring as it is. And Titus O'Neil is always uh, great to see him this as well. So let's start with our first match I wanna talk about, which is the WWE Championship uh, belt, which the almighty Bobby Lashley has his big air happening right now because since he won the belt over the Miz in that big lumberjack match. Okay, so Bobby Lashley is going to be facing Drew McIntyre. So who do you guys actually think is going to win this contest? I think this is really going to be a fun contest, but I still think the almighty air is still going to continue on. So I'm, I am going to lean on the side of Bobby Lashley in this match. Okay, so let's continue on from this. Uh, we got the SmackDown Women's uh, Championship, uh, Shasha Banks, which is the current uh, champion, as we know. And she's going to be facing uh, Bianca Belair. This is going to be a good match. So we know Bianca uh, won uh, the Royal Rumble this year in the 2001 Royal Rumble. And she has her big chance of main eventing with Shasha Banks. So I'm actually leaning on the side of Bianca Belair actually winning this match. I actually think she's been doing an incredible job as it is. Uh, Shasha Banks is always good as she is. But I think this is the air of starting of something new with a Bel Air actually getting that chance of actually winning that belt. So once again, my choice with this would be Bianca Bel Air. Okay, so the Rock Tag Team Championship. Uh, okay, this is gonna be really fun to watch with this one. We got the New Day against AJ Styles and Omos. Okay, <laughs> off the bat, I'm already, I'm already excited about this because Omos has already been on the side of AJ Styles for the last number of months. And of course, helping him on the outside with interference, of course, but this will have actually given the chance to actually be in that ring 
the defend uh, the new day has to defend that title against both AJ Styles and Omos. And my prediction with this will be AJ Styles and Omos. This is a, 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 Omos is a first in ring debut, which has happened at, on the biggest stage on the mall, WrestleMania, which I think is cool. So, and I think AJ Styles and Omos will become our new champion, new tag team champions, I should say, that night. So, so we still are on night one as it is. So the next match will be uh, Bad Money and uh, Damian Priest against The Miz and John Morrison. <laughs> so this whole concept with this has been a little fun and silly at the same time. We know uh, Bad Bunny has been uh, gotten uh, some really good uh, rep with his music, oh, especially when Sid see this one, some, some Grammys uh, this like um, over like a month ago, which is pretty cool. So con congratulations to you, Bad Bunny, for uh, winning uh, a couple of Grammys for that, for your music as it is. But who will win this match? I feel because to see the end of the night, we, we thought this whole entire time Bad Bunny would really be facing Miz on a one-on-one -on -one competition, but we found out this will be a tag team match. So I'm actually think, uh, predicting in this match, Bad Bunny and Damian Priest will come on top to win this match. Okay, next, this, this was the match I was talking about earlier, uh, Cesaro and Seth Rollins. So they, it will happen on night one as it is. Okay, this has been really fun. <laughs> Cesaro is uh, one of my favorite wrestlers. All these wrestlers have been really talented, but Cesaro just stands out as me as one of my favorites. Anyways, uh, this whole history with uh, both of them happening uh, with uh, Cesaro and Seth Rollins. Uh, Cesaro has gotten the best swing off of Seth Rollins, swinging him 22 times. And I still think uh, with this match, this will be a great match as it is, but I think Cesaro will come on top. And this, I feel this maybe after WrestleMania, I think he will might actually get the possible chance of actually getting one uh, big title or something like the Universal Belt. Uh, what's wait, wait hold, hold on, Cesaro is on the side of SmackDown. Yeah, that's right. So he would get that would be cool if uh, if we could see Cesaro in the near future happening uh, get a Universal Belt chance. Anyways, winning that belt that'd be awesome. I gotta say. So anyways, uh, the next match is that steel cage match against uh, Shane McMahon and Braun Strowman. So this has been an ongoing issue against for, for the last couple months. And we thought they would actually be facing each other at the last pay-per-view at Fastlane. But of course, that didn't happen because uh, Shane McMahon hurt himself uh, this like that day, of course, uh, with his knee injury. <laughs> but we all found out maybe like a few nights later that it was just a hoax. Uh, maybe it just went, maybe it might have been a sprain or something like that. And Elias uh, came in to help him out at Fastlane. But Elias did not get the job done and Braun Strowman won. But with, with Shane McMahon and Braun Strowman in this steel cage match, there will be no outside interference whatsoever. So I'm actually predicting uh, Braun Strowman to win this match. It's really cool. Once again, to see uh, Shane McMahon uh, come back to the ring. He's and I'm really looking forward to Shane McMahon actually coming back to the biggest stage of them all at WrestleMania. He shines out great. He faced, has not faced a number of great components like The Undertaker. And uh, now he's facing uh, Braun Strowman, another big giant as it is. But I am still going on with uh, Braun Strowman to win this match. Okay, so this is the other thing that uh, just came up the other night just as well, too. We have a, a woman attack team, uh, turmoil, uh, turmoil, if I'm saying that right, sorry. But what, what the meaning of, of that word means is uh, all these attack team uh, ladies will be facing each other in the match. So uh, it's not like a four, all four of them to come out. Each one of them, each tag team will come out to face each other. So let me get, go down with names. We got Ruby Wright and Liv Morgan, uh, Mandy Rose and Dana Burke. So we got those two facing each other. Uh, we don't actually, I don't know who's going to be starting off first, but those two will go first and whoever wins that match will face the next opponent. So we, the other opponents to face the other female wrestlers in this match, match is uh, Lana and Naomi, Tamara and uh, Natalia. And this is going to be a fun match, I gotta say, because whoever wins this match will get, get the chance on night two to face Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. So once again, uh, with this prediction, I would, I'm actually going to say Lana Naomi. Uh, it would be really cool to see uh, Lana actually have a belt. She has not won a belt with the wrestling yet, and I would be a tag team opponent with uh, Naomi. I think this would be uh, great to see. Okay, so we have all that for night one, and uh, I want to move on to night two. Uh, for WrestleMania 37 for that Sunday. Okay, so on WrestleMania 37 on night two, let's talk about this night two. Let's, since I just talked about the women's uh, tag team uh, match that we we're going to have on uh, night one, let's talk about that first because uh, whoever wins that match will have to face uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Blazer. And uh, that mystery opponent, which we will find out on night one as it is. But um, to tell you the truth, my prediction is that uh, that mystery opponent will actually take 
th those belts and we will see a uh, new woman uh, tag team championships so that's my prediction with that match with that mystery opponent and uh, my, with my prediction I, I said with uh, Lana and Naomi uh, as my choice uh, it would be actually would be fun to see uh, those two face uh, Nia and Shayna and win the belt over them that'd be really cool I gotta say <laughs> so let's continue on with this we got the big universal uh, championship uh, belt match we get Roman Reigns Edge and Daniel Bryan now this is uh, this has been brutal. <laughs> Edge has been uh, really digging. This has been really getting under the skin for the last few months, particularly when, after when we saw the elimination uh, chamber match. Daniel Bryan won that match, and ever since then he, he feels like he should be main eventing at WrestleMania Thursday, which I kind of do. I actually agree with that. Going through a match like that for at the elimination uh, chamber, I actually kind of agree with Daniel Bryan, but you also at the same time you have to agree with Edge because Edge was a uh, two thousand one. Winner at the Royal Rumble. So we this is a big triple threat happening. I can see this as being uh, the big main event on night two, of course. But I'm going to talk about this right now. I, my big prediction about this is I actually think Daniel Bryan might actually win this match. But once again, you got to remember, too, this, since this, this is actually a triple threat, I know Roman Reigns has the belt. If Roman Reigns does not get pinned, Edge or either uh, Daniel Bryan, if they get the win over each other... They're going to win the other uh, universal belt. So <laughs> once again, my choice is Daniel Bryan on uh, the, this triple threat universal ch championship uh, match. Okay, so moving on next is the Raw Women's Championship, Asuka against Rhea Ripley. Okay, so I felt this was kind of interesting how this whole setup happened. We thought it was going to be Charlotte Flair, but uh, there's complications along the way, of course. But it's going to be really cool to see uh, Rhea Ripley in that uh, ring. Uh, she, this is her uh, first... Actually, I should say first in ring debut, debut. They actually had a tag match, both Asuka and her, the other night, of course, against uh, uh, Nia Jax and believe it or not, uh, Shayla uh, Baszler. But Rhea Ripley actually made that mistake of <laughs> actually attacking their opponent that night on Asuka. So they wanted to get some heated uh, into this uh, big main event on WrestleMania Thursday. But my pretty big prediction, once again, I think Asuka is going to retain the spell. This is going to be a really good match. I already know this off the bat. Uh, Rye Ripley over on the NXT uh, really did a good, really good job in the women's division. And I really think she's going to do an awesome job here in the WWE just as well. Okay, so moving on to the next uh, match is the Intercontinental Championship uh, belt. So we've got Big E against Apollo Crews. So this has been heated for quite a while as it is. They faced each other at Fastlane. Uh, but they actually did have a championship belt, believe it or not. And now they're getting another big one as it is. But I feel, with my prediction, I think Big E might retain his belt over Apollo Crews. So that's my prediction. I feel that Big E will win of this match. And uh, moving on is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Okay, so th these two have actually been uh, had a past. They've been friends. It's been going back and forth. Friends, allies, friends, allies. <laughs> but this is going to still be a fun match because they've always given us a really good show. Uh, my prediction on this, well, I feel Kevin Owens is going to win this match. Even though Sami Zayn has been doing a really good job, I, it just seems like lately he's been uh, distracted by making his uh, documentaries. But if he does uh, actually focus, Sami Zayn might actually have a chance. But uh, once again, I'm going with uh, Kevin Owens with this. The next match I would actually like to talk about is the United States uh, Championship uh, build. So, Rilla is the current champion as he is, and he will be facing as Sheamus. Sheamus is a heavy hitter. Uh, this is going to be a good match, i got to say. Riddle's been having too much fun in the back, and he's having too much fun out in the ring. Great. Ever since he entered the WWE. And you got to remember, Sheamus, he's been around for quite a while, but Sheamus has been on top of this game a lot lately, it seems like, with that big, heavy match we saw recently with uh, him and Drew McIntyre. Oh, my gosh. What a match i got to see. That's got to be match of the year with, <laughs> with uh, Drew McIntyre against uh, Sheamus uh, not too long ago. That was awesome, i got to say. But with this prediction, I'm actually going on the side of Sheamus. I think Sheamus is going to win this match over uh, Riddle and become the new United States uh, Championship. Okay, so there is one more match I have not yet talked about, and that's The Fiend, Bray Wyatt against Randy Orton. Oh my gosh, this has been heated for the last number of months. And when I say heated, I literally I say that. Randy Orton has uh, set The Fiend on fire a number of months ago and it created this whole feud along with Alexa Bliss, which makes me wonder if Alexa Bliss will be out there at ringside, which I would not be surprised. And uh, what <laughs> this match has just been so intense. Randy Orton has been on top of this game just as well, getting on that dark side of uh, Alexa Bliss and The Fiend. But it seems like ever since The Fiend has come back from Fastlane, he seems like he's a mad... And the same with Alexa Bliss. What's going to happen with this match? But I'm with my prediction with this match, I feel The Fiend's going to win this match. 
Okay, so that is uh, the whole list uh, on this weekend for uh, night one and night two of WrestleMania 37 this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. And my predictions as it is. So if you did uh, follow along with me, I, I would make sure that I keep that list over here. Who do you actually think yourself will win these matches? Leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say. Will there be possible returns or new faces as it is? The night after WrestleMania 37 is always a setting on Monday Night uh, Raw. It, it kind of makes you wonder too, what's going to happen after WrestleMania 37? Because as we know, there will be uh, people, uh, there will be uh, big fans like us attending the, the big event down there in Florida. So what's going to happen afterwards? Will there be actually be uh, fans attending uh, these live events on Friday Night SmackDown and Monday Night Raw? We're going to have to see and find out. That'd be real exciting, wouldn't it? So anyways, I want to start wrapping things up. I had a really good time doing this. I always wanted to do this uh, for uh, try to predict who's going to win with my list here. I hope you guys were able to follow. Uh, hopefully, if you did too, this as well, uh, while, while I was talking along with you guys, if you created your own predictions of your own, leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys you got to say, WW Universe. And I'm going to start wrapping things up and saying, my name is Ryan. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for more wrestling talk. Thank you for watching. Bye.